stimulus payments will not need to be filed into tax returns in order to be received according to the Treasury Department. Government officials state that information on Social Security forms will be used to get payments to seniors. Three men were arraigned in centralized arraignment court due to the connection to prostitution and human trafficking. A 12-year-old girl was met at the motel off Curious Circle in duet by 20-year-old Rajik Pugh in which he engaged in criminal sex acts. Two others, 38-year-old John Buddha and 49-year-old Robert Noble, also performed sexual acts on the child. Pugh was said to have driven to on Oneida County after recruiting the young girl on social media to perform sexual acts. All three are being held in the Justice Center without bail. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hello Central High School. We miss seeing you at the high school. I miss being at the high school. I want you to know that we all cannot wait to get back to 6400 Fremont Road. I bet you thought you'd never feel like that yourself. I want to talk to you today about five topics. First one is School Spirit Week. Second one, Leading with Influence. Third, Overcoming Adversity. Fourth, Daring to be Great. And fifth, Safety Leadership. Next week, we want to sponsor School Spirit Week. I know we can't travel. I know the whole deal with not having school break. But let's have something positive come out of this. Let's create our own School Spirit Week. You'll be hearing more about this tomorrow from Mrs. Ward. Second one is Leading with Influence. We are looking for some tutors who may be interested in tutoring other students. If you are thinking about being one of those people, send me an email. Let me know what subject you would be able to tutor and any other interest that you may have in order to help other students. Third, overcoming adversity. It is strange learning this way. It is strange working this way. One of the ways that helps me is that every day I create a daily schedule. And it helps me to physically check off that list on my daily schedule. Uh, think about how you can be positive and plan your day. Fourth one is dare to be great. We are all trying to figure out what this continuity of learning is. It is a challenge and we all know that it's going to be affecting future events. We know that it's already affected testing for some people. We are waiting on word about the regents exams. Uh, in the meantime, do not think the worst. Stay positive. Time will tell that we'll be able to figure out all of these other questions. And the fifth one is we need your safety leadership. Help flatten the curve. Stay at home and be safe with pause. Be sure to wash, wash your hands frequently with soap and water and keep that six distance, six foot distance away from other people when you're walking your hood. Make good choices. I can't wait till we are all together again. Like I said, send me an email if you're interested in tutoring. Send me another email if you think you have some good ideas about how you're dealing with this. And if you have any questions, never hesitate to email me. Um, if you ever want to do a group chat, let me know about that and we can uh, co coordinate a group chat together. Um, and by the way, I am so impressed with all of you. I have not chased one student out of the hallways. You all have been to classes on time. Oh, it's just amazing. Last but not least, stay connected. Great to see you guys and have a great day. Tomorrow's Friday. Seniors, today is your final day to send in pictures for the yearbook on where you are going to school next year. You can send those to me at walters.jack20 at esmschools.org and you can send in pictures of where you're going to be going next year. So if you're holding your acceptance letter, holding wearing your college shirt, um, you at the campus. Any pictures at all will be great because the page is due today and I will be working on that all day today. So if you could send those in, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Today we'll have a high of 47 with mixed sun and clouds. Tomorrow there will be some rain showers with a high of 48. Saturday looks to be mostly cloudy with a high of 58. Sunday and Monday are going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 57. And Tuesday and Wednesday will have highs in the low 60s with some cloudy skies. I'm Gabby with your weather. What's up, BSM? I'm here to bring you some sports news. I know I'm wearing sunglasses inside, but I felt like it, so whatever. Um, but recently, uh, the Massachusetts governor asked Patriots 
team owner Robert Kraft to help them aid in like sending masks um, from China to here. Um, and so obviously he said yes and they used his plane and they bought 1.2 million masks from China to the US using the Patriots private plane. And with that, I'm John Lee Sports.